How's this off season been for you? Uh, off season has been good. I feel like I've really been just trying to focus on the mental side of my game. Obviously, you know, I got to keep the physical side going and stuff like that. So I'm working on that too. But more, more so my, my mental side and just learning the game, you know, trying to soak everything up just like a sponge. Um, I feel like my online coach is very accomplished in the game. So I'm just trying to, you know, take everything from him until, you know, my day and my opportunity comes to go to the next level. Are learning lessons from last season? A learning, um, learning lesson, I'd say, is keep pushing even when it hurts to go. Um, there's a lot of times, like, you know, i say, you know, it was like a lot of hardships within our season and stuff like that, and it can become discouraging at times. Um, but, like, those are the times that I feel like it's most important that you put your head down and that you can continue to work, you know, and just, you know, put one foot up, one foot after the other and, um, yeah, work hard and, and keep the faith, keep the drive, keep the hunger, and, um, you know, all things will prevail after that. Yeah. You're, two, you're two in this offense. What, how do you feel going into this season? versus last season? Uh, I most definitely feel like I'm more fluid now. Um, I most definitely feel like more comfortable. The game is becoming more, you know, just like more, you know, feng shui is for me, you know, like I can, I don't have to think necessarily anymore within the game. And um, I'm gaining on it, uh, like I said, in the mental, in the mental field, on the mental side and stuff like that. So that's what I continue to do and continue to grow on throughout the season and this off season coming up here. How's it working with Jonah and now he's playing center? How's it working with Wayne? It's most definitely dope. Jonah is my guy. Um, great communicator, great, you know, great guy. On and off the field, you know, uh, I say very family oriented. And, um, you know, ever since I came here, you know, he kind of took me under his wig. So I'm most definitely appreciative to him. Um, and yeah, it's been a dope experience, you know, with them on the inside, you know, like I said, he's a great communicator. So I always know what to do and all, you know, all that stuff. So yeah, I just continue to grow with him and um, do some great things on the field with, you know, Jonah. Yeah. What were some of the conversations like in the off season uh, between you and Coach Henson? Was there anything that, that like specifically dealing with you know you and maybe mechanisms or techniques or anything like that? Um, talks with uh, my coach in the off season. I mean, just really like trying to tune in and you know, yeah, tune in and try to like focus on the little things within my game. Um, and it's really like, not to sound cliche, but it's like literally, literally as, as I said, it's uh, just the little things in my game, you know, whether it's certain technique or even mentality coming, you know, putting your hand in the dirt and just knowing that you're gonna, you know, whoop the other dude. So <laughs> yeah, stuff like that. It's, that's what we talk about. Just, uh, and obviously the mental side and uh, it gets very technical there. So, like I said, I just try to soak everything up and, yeah. How would you describe the strength and conditioning program this last offseason? Oh, most definitely a plus side, you know. I feel like they've, they've really, they really they, I feel like they changing, they changing our bodies, they changing the game for real. Um, it's not a it's not a lot of guys I know that look, look like me at my weight. And that's a testament to the, you know, strength and conditioning the program here. So shout out Coach Wiley. Um, I feel like, yeah, um, they they try to, you know, invest and invest um, their time with us and um, like try to create an environment, you know, to make us want to grow, make us want to get stronger and challenge us, you know, to become better overall athletes. So, yeah. You guys have a handful of freshmen that came in uh, during the spring. What have you kind of seen from them and, you know, some areas that uh, you feel like they can improve and some of the things that you kind of told them, like, you know, areas to improve or things that you uh, probably should have known as a freshman? Um, yeah, freshmen, uh, some things with them, yeah, I guess just like me personally, when I was coming in as a freshman, you know, I was kind of in La La Land and stuff like that. 
and I was just, you know, trying to ask around pretty much, you know, a whole bunch of questions um, to the older guys. So, I, you know, now that I've been in that situation and I've been that younger person, you know, um, I feel like um, I could be, you know, a big help to the younger guys as far as like how grown works when it comes to, you know, division one college football, what things to ask, um, and just really getting the jump on the game, getting the jump on, you know, the mental side or even the mentality when it comes to the game and how you're supposed to feel, uh, what you're supposed to do, assignments and things like that. So yeah, um, overall, you know, we have our keys as an offense, uh, offensive line. And I, I say that number one key is communicate and that can look uh, like a lot of different things. So whether that's on or off the field, in the playbook and stuff like that. So yeah, we all working on that and we can continue to grow.